Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. So I'm gonna continue the Archon quest. I'm at Wangshu now. I'm supposed to go to Wangshu Inn right here. Oh, this spot. Okay. Oh, he's not here. Was it? Uh. Was it child? <laughs> Are we looking for a child? To the blind, oh, may not who is this? Appears. A sigil of Xiao. Oh, he is Xiao. Okay. Though this only prevents me from hurting you myself, doesn't stop you from getting hurt in other ways. Uh, Paimon doesn't get it. Too much contact with our world is breaking the rules. Mortal mm -hmm. souls are not as robust as those of Adepti, nor can your blood carry this level of Adeptal energy. It's for your own good. Leave. Now. Uh-huh. Wait a sec! We came here to... Ugh! Paimon's peeved! <laughs> All he does think about himself! Paimon wants to give him an ugly nickname. But if you take off an Adeptus, the only thing you'll probably ever find in treasure chests is cabbages. Blech. Oh, so that's where the peeve come from actually. I was wondering, okay. <sighs> Guess we should go ask the boss lady of the inn about just how she manages to talk to Adepti. The boss lady? Ask the boss lady about Xiao, okay. Where though? Huh? Oh, here, okay. Okay, this is a side quest, not actually the person we're looking for. Ah uh, yeah, the blue ones are side quests. Okay, let me do the side quest first, be right back. Ah, I want to finish the side quest, but I have to finish the Archon quest. God damn it, what's wrong with this? Okay, so... Wangshu, where's Wangshu? Tell me about the Adeptus. Oh, you've already met Xiao. Yep. Not bad. Not often he's in a good enough mood to agree to see people. Oh, that's his good mood? Oh yes, the Adepti are very hard to come by. Many people go their whole lives praying to them, never once actually getting to see them. Mm, Xiao's an Adepti, yeah? When the Geo Archon built Liyue, he borrowed power from the Adepti. But most of them only know how to protect Liyue by fighting. So for many millennia, it has instead been humans who have led Liyue. Whilst the Adepti live hidden away and okay. You really know a lot, huh, boss lady? <laughs> it's not boss lady, it's just boss. Anyway, seeing as you have the favor of the Adepti, things should be a lot easier. Well, if you want to know my opinion, if you keep Xiao in a good mood, things should be okay. Should good be okay? mood? <laughs> Can't really imagine what a good mood looks like for that vigilant Yaksha. Okay, got it. No, already. Will be interesting, won't it? Come to think of it, I've never seen him smile either. How about this? You go see the chef for a bowl of almond tofu and a plate of whatever it is you're best at making. Almond tofu is one of the few human foods Xiao likes. The almond other dish is tofu. Up to, you. Okay. up to us, eh? Hmm. What do you think you're the best at cooking? Hmm. Really hard to screw that one up, right? Yeah. <laughs> the other one doesn't... Talk to the chef. I'm a bit confused. Going up or outside or where? <laughs> okay. Can't you see I'm on a break, kid? Scram! You'd like an almond to... Scram! Okay. Whoa. This chef guy's service is about as good as that Wagner guy's back in Monster. <laughs> Is for the boss. I see. If it's for the boss, then guess I don't have a choice now, do I? But my heart's not really in it right now. Not enough to make a dessert as painstaking as almond tofu. And why is that? A fencer's hand must be steady. So too must the hand of a chef. But my hands... I'm... They're not steady. Because... Uh, a, a traveler once told me that this <laughs> in is haunted. This and then evening? just now, just now, in the kitchen, I saw something. Something not right. This chef looks so intimidating, <laughs> but speak of ghosts and he becomes weak. I keep thinking. Even Wang Shu-in isn't haunted safe. Wang Shu -in. Uh, 
I can't keep a steady hand for something like almond tofu. All right. In the name of high-quality almond tofu, we need to go check this kitchen out. Hmm. The kitchen, huh? What? Oh, we found a recipe. Almond tofu. Okay. There you go. Doesn't seem to be anything. Hmm? Uh, oh, what? It's a ghost. It's actually a ghost girl. What the heck? Tell Smiley Yansia about what happened. Oh my gosh. What? Uh, you saw it too? Yeah. There really is a ghost. How could I? Okay, so he's useless now. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Scared of something so insignificant. Hard to believe he was once a notorious bandit. He was once a bandit? You don't seem that <laughs> afraid of ghosts, boss lady. Gods and ghosts. I've seen it all before. Come to think of it, others don't seem to know there's an adeptus here at the inn except for the boss lady. Mm. Shh. <laughs> Okay. You'll be divulging my little secret. Right. Best you two be off. Go see to it that that little ghost doesn't go scaring anybody else. Not that I'm ordering you around. It's like the Adeptus said. Mortal souls are not as robust as those of the Adepti. All right. So as not to be harmed when dealing with the Adepti, you can start by practicing with that ghost. How do we persuade the ghost, though? There is a calligraphy painting in the inn known as the Witness Sigil. Witness Sigil. It's been in circulation for over a thousand years. Go take a look at it. Once you have, look for a place outside where you can see the exact same witness sigil formation. Observe the painting. It's a painting. Oh, this. I got higher. Uh huh. Okay. I'm witnessing it. Find a place where you can see the whole witness sigil. I'm pretty sure it's here, but I can't press anything. There she is. Oh, I have to adjust the camera to get it right. I see, okay. Uh, on the screen. Oops. Oh, there it is. Dusky Moon. Wait, what? Uh, she doesn't know when to give up! Where did she go? Defeat the room. Oh, what the hell? She woke a room hunter. Oh, shoot. Are you serious? Level 45. Oh. Oh, it's huh? it's raining, so it's Beg for mercy. Huh. You're toast. Crush. More speed. Shudder. There's a lot of damage. Shudder. Crush. At the right pan, it's the fire. Uh, uh. Oh. Crush. 
There we go. Oh. What the heck? Billy Joel, Billy Joel. Silly Joel, Billy Joel. Isn't that Hu Tao's Chan? It's Hu Tao's Chan. <laughs> what? Haunting things isn't nice! Uh, little girl, are you listening? Chilly Churl, Frilly Churl. This is a ghost. Now listen here, young lady! Oh. Oh, wait. Okay. Dusky Ming won't tease the travelers at the end <laughs> anymore. Really? Next time. You can come play with Dusky Ming. Yeah. If you don't come and play, Dusky Ming will come find you. Okay. <laughs> Silly Billy Childish Ghoul, what? More speed! Does it really have anything to do with Hu Tao? <laughs> what the heck? I don't know. What? You really got the ghost to promise to stop haunting the inn? Yeah. <laughs> wow. You really are something. I am in your debt. Please, wait a moment. I'll make you the smoothest, silkiest bowl of almond tofu. Alright. <laughs> My hands are steadier than ever now that she's gone. Oh, we got special almond tofu. Okay. Just wondering. Do I have the recipe for... Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't have... Uh, but this is normal almond tofu. Eh? Alright. Now we see. <laughs> what is this? You two, again. Wait, don't go disappearing again. What's this? It's your favorite, almond tofu, as well as this distant traveler's best dish, a satisfying salad. Quick, tell him everything before he finishes eating. Okay. Rex Lapis. How could this be? I can't imagine it. Though times have changed, I've never imagined a Liyue without him. The ruling Qixing. Just what role have they played hmm. in this? What's going on actually? I will seek Moon Carver, Mountain Shaper, and Cloud Retainer. It is time they too made their decisions. Will they that time interrogate the Chi Sing or take over his role in Li Wei? Adept I do not turn on their responsibilities. I have my reasons to not want to be tainted by the mortal realm, but responsibilities are responsibilities. Our god is the god of contracts after all. Wait! Paimon still has one last question! Mm -hmm. That... Dusky Ming... Ah, the ghost. She's... Yeah. Is there anything to demons, you? on occasion, you can come across spirits who have never hurt anyone, yet are also not yet able to be moved on. Okay. So I asked the innkeeper and the boss if they could keep her here for a time. Oh, that's why she's uh, here. So she's related. Oh, really? Wang Xuan was looking after her! Really keeping a wide range of business <laughs> going, huh? Alright, that was it. Oh, rank 31. Okay. New quest, return to Liyue Harbor and find child. Okay, it's time to return to find child. Alright. Oh, ah, uh, child is here. You finally returned. How was your journey to Jueyun Karst? Well, we got the Adepti I see. to help us. Huh. Moon Carver, Mountain Shaper, Cloud Retainer, Conqueror of Demons. Oh, Xiao is Conqueror of Demons. Okay. Some of these names have never come up in the intel the Fatui gets hold of. Oh. As a returning gift, <laughs> I too have information for so you. So now Fatui has information. <laughs> okay. Regarding the Archon's passing, the Liu Qixing's response really has given me food for thought. 
Mm -hmm. They've announced that, as the true killer has not yet been found, they are not allowing anyone to pay their respects to the Exuvia. They're not allowing anyone to... okay. They've even gone so far as to try and cut off information. But with the right of dissension and all, even the Chi-Sing isn't able to keep a lid on things. Alright. Exuvia? It's common knowledge in Liyue that Rex Lapis is also an Adeptus. Okay. The Geo Archon is also the god of contracts, and is also known as the Exuvia. Exuvia. Prime of the Adepti. Prime of the Adepti, okay. The mighty and illuminated Adepti of today all signed contracts to protect Liyue way back then. Guess that explains why they're all so focused on Liyue's well-being. Naturally, they both have the responsibility and the aptitude for the job. If the ruling Qixing became unable to perform their duty properly, the Adepti have the right to take corrective mm, action. Okay, it makes sense. The Geo Archon's spirit has risen, so why would the Qixing hide his vessel? Truly suspicious. Hmm. Something is definitely not right. Oh, right! He's the whole reason we came here! If the Liyue Qixing has locked up Exuvia and won't let anyone near, then our quest to find the Seven is already over! Hmm. Oh? You're trying to find the Seven? And just why might that be, pray tell? Um, nothing to, uh, no comment. <laughs> nice answer. A knight that gets duped by the Fatui would really be no knight at all now, would they? But, I can help you with that too, you know. Um, hmm. oh really? really? <laughs> Give me some time. Time to find someone. You know what, I'll just add him, see what happens. Someone who can help you break through this stalemate. Huh. <laughs> Truly fascinating. The harder they try to silence the situation, the greater the chaos that erupts. If you want to be around <laughs> to see it all come crashing down, best you stay alive. Well, we've got two child week. here. Yes. <laughs> all right. Well, I didn't know you can actually co op join while I'm in a cutscene. Yeah? Well, uh, let me pause for a while. Okay, so it seems uh, playing co op, you can't continue the art conquest. So <laughs> let's just continue. You finally returned. Oh, I have to skip How was your journey through to Jueyu and Karst? this all over again. Okay, be right back. Okay, so if I pick the other option, it's still the same answer. <laughs> Ah, that was the end of uh, Act 1. So now, wait until the following day, an organization known as Wang Sheng. Oh, that's Act 2. Well, uh, I don't know, this video feels short, uh, shorter than previous one, so we'll just keep going. Maybe about uh, halfway done. So now I just have to wait till the next day. Well, uh... Okay. When exactly? An organization known as... Okay, talk to the bank staff. Welcome, friend of child. And congratulations on the first day of your illustrious career with the Fatui. Well... I don't consider child a friend. Yet, and I have no intention of joining the Fatui. You sound remarkably sure of yourself. Remember, we are mere mortals. Our ideas are fluid like water. Only the Tsuritsa truly has a will as solid as the permafrost. But back to the matter at hand. Child tells me that he has upheld his end of your agreement. What agreement? Hmm? Oh, the thing about him helping us find a guy? Correct. Child promised he would find someone to break the stalemate. And the Harbingers do not break their promises lightly. Ah, where is that guy anyway? Child is currently at Leoli Pavilion. Leoli Pavilion. Oh, oh, Paimon knows this one. I think one. I've went there before. Ahem. There are two styles of cooking in Liyue. Known as Li style and Yue style. Oh. They have been competing for centuries, but neither has emerged as the clear winner. U.S. style. <laughs> the flagship restaurant of the Lee style is the Li Li Pavilion. The owner especially chose to open the restaurant at Feiyun Slope mm -hmm. so they could compete face to face with 
the Xinhua Kiosk, which is the flagship restaurant of the U.S. style. Don't talk to Paimon like that. Anyway, Paimon's hungry. Let's get moving. <laughs> okay. So, we start Act 2 straight away. Farewell Arcade Lord. Find child again, okay. Aha, you made it. As promised, I have found someone who can help you. Someone who can solve the mystery why the Liu of Qixing would hide the Jiu Archon's vessel. Okay. So, where is he? In Liu Li Pavilion? He certainly is. Come, I'll introduce you. I took the liberty of setting up a business dinner. As per the Liu custom. Alright. So let me guess who this other person will be. Welcome back, sir. You honor us with your patronage. Mm -hmm. Mr. Zhongli is awaiting your arrival in the Wait, Zhong Li? Excuse me? Is isn't Was I wrong? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So, yeah. Hi. <sighs> wow, so lit. Allow me to introduce Mr. Zhong Li. Consultant to an organization known as Wang Sheng, and a trusted associate of the Fatui. Associate of the Fatui, Wang Sheng. Uh, Wang Sheng, I want to know that. Indeed, Wang Sheng's line of work can be sensitive at times. Let's just say they understand when discretion is needed, and we, the Fatui, have always been glad to do business with friends who walk in the shadows. Walk in the shadows. It is an honor to meet you. I have heard tell of you from Mondstadt. Discretion? Shadows? <sighs> is Wang Shen some kind of business involving... dealing with people? Indeed. It is as you have guessed. <gasps> the Wang Shen Funeral Parlor organizes burials. We ensure that those oh. who pass on do so in peace. <laughs> Did you think he was some sort of hired killer? <laughs> oh yeah, okay, okay. The Fatui calls many such people friends, but the Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor does not dabble in such business. Well, ostensibly. Ostensibly. Well, they are still... Uh, I shouldn't say too much. In any case, I brought you to meet Mr. Zhang Li because... Because I can bring you to see Rex Lapis's vessel. What? <laughs> Don't be so surprised. Sure, the Geo Archon's body has been squirreled away by order of the Tian Chuan Ning Guang. Uh, but Chuan. first, let's hear what Mr. Zhang Li has to say, shall we? Rex Lapis may be the prime of Adepti, but he is ultimately an Adeptus. Many Adepti have left us over the millennia. This is the inexorable trend. The times have changed. You must have felt it too. When you were at Jueyun Karst. The adapter staying away from the UA, uh, yeah? As you have seen, the time of the Adepta is ending, and the time of mankind is slowly dawning. In years past, Liu's tradition was that a huge memorial service be held to mark the passing of every Adeptus. But this time, the Qixing have made no attempt whatsoever to respect this tradition. Hmm. It is sacrilege. They do have a... They see, decide to deal with... Yeah, what? the killer hasn't even been caught yet. Be aside or not, the concern of the Wang Shang funeral parlor is this. When the ritual to receive this god is so kingly, it is all the more egregious for his final send-off to go unattended to. Traveler, Child has told me a lot about you. Since you have had dealings with the Animo Archon, mm -hmm. could I ask you to help me prepare the Geo Archon's last rites? Chance is too much. 
I said I'm going to have to think about it. Hmm. Well, I have to think about it first. Well, if you really think about it, <laughs> we don't have any other choice. Um. Really? Indeed, no amount of consideration can change this outcome. The Tianquan Ningguang has forbidden anyone from accessing Rex Lapis's vessel. Okay. Which, of course, you would need to access if you were to achieve your goal of meeting all of the seven. Precisely. Only by yeah, participating no in the rite of parting will you be able to see the form of Rex Lapis again. No if choice. we are agreed, mm -hmm. come with me. We will speak of the details as we walk. All right, my bridge building work here is done. Turned out well, didn't it? You can go if you want to. Don't worry about me. I might just have a few more drinks. And get acquainted with these things they call chopsticks in the meantime. <laughs> so now, talk to Zhong Li outside. Okay, Zhong... Was I wrong all this time? I, I thought maybe Zhong Li was the Geo Archon. But if the Geo Archon is dead and Zhong Li is here... Does that mean... Was was I mistaken or I don't know. After having experienced the land of the absentee Archon, traveler, how does it feel to know that our Archon and Adepti are here all around you in Liyue? <laughs> I prefer Monster or Liyue is the better place. Well, how do I say Liyue is quite big, yes. But Mondstadt feels like, even though small, it's like peaceful. I know Liyue is bigger, but Mondstadt is like calmer. <laughs> I would like to say Liyue is better, but the atmosphere. Uh, sorry, but I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So you're that sort of person. It's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing, yeah. <laughs> but I suppose you have yet to experience the substance of Liyue's 3,700 years of divinity. Okay. Organizing the rite of parting should prove to be an enlightening part of your travels. Yeah, right. Liyue is the most prosperous of the seven nations, defended by deities and ruled by the Qixing. As such, the diplomatic maneuverings of the Fatui have gained no purchase here. Ningguang of the Qixing has always been on her guard against the Fatui. Mm -hmm. That is in all likelihood why Child wants to make use of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's connections. Okay. Huh. What would Child get out of us doing the rite of parting anyway? I neither know nor do I wish to know. As far as I am concerned, the Fatui are merely financial sponsors. Mm -hmm. I only wish for Liyue's traditions to endure. These are the advanced funds that Child has provided. If you use them up, you can go to him to apply for any subsequent funding. Wow! Well then, let us be off. The first step in our preparations shall be to obtain some prize Noctilucus Jade worthy of it. Noctilucus Jade? I've got some of those, but we're going to obtain some? A bag of Mora. <laughs> this is the same like... <laughs> this is the same like... Uh, sing sing Chao's story quest a bit. Yeah, go and buy Noctilu Noctilu's Jade this time, not not Core Lapis. Okay, here we go again. We're buying from. Oh, oops, battery. All right, I'll do that later. Welcome to the Jade Mystery, my good friends. Would you like to try your luck betting on Jade? Betting this could be Jade. your lucky day. It's cheap and it's fun, and who knows, you just might strike it rich. Betting? No, no, we're here we're for... to buy. Um, Noctilucus Jade. What was it again? Noctilucus Jade. Noctilucus. Radiant grade at the very least. Radiant grade, Noctilucus Jade? I see. You're not a tourist. My apologies. I have some here for your perusal. Okay. What do you think? 
The Jade Mystery is an old name in the Jade business. Just look at that wonderful quality. Rex Lapis doesn't often bless us with such finery. Go on, pick whichever one you like. These three pieces really do look pretty. Not like the ones you usually dig up. Okay. But how do we pick? Should we just grab one and go? A man who makes his living of betting on stones can't be trusted so lightly. I better ask Zong, Zong Li for this. Oh? You want me to decide? Yeah. <laughs> that is fine as well. If it were me, the answer would be simple. Oh? That would be? And that would be... I'll take them all, boss. <laughs> Oh, you act with such panache, good sir. I always knew you were not a man of ordinary caliber. Oh, wait, wait, boss. That one didn't count. <laughs> we need to discuss it again. Really? <laughs> Just buy all of it. <laughs> hey, if we only need one for the ritual, aren't we wasting three times the mora if we buy them all? Three times the Mora, two times more Mora. Isn't that the same thing? So that's true. <laughs> oh, Mora. Hmm. Oh, wait. It is as you say. I suppose I overlooked this particular aspect of the transaction. Huh? How do you not think about Mora when buying things? You just need the things. Don't really care about the Mora. If one must always consider Mora before acting, then in all things, one is bound by Mora. Yeah. Uh, what? Kind of. All true. Mora is currency, but not all currency is Mora. All Mora is currency, but not all currency is Mora. Yeah, there's more than just Mora as currency. What? Is this how the rich live? <laughs> need to waver. Even when I am constrained by Mora, I have ways of working around my limitations. Evaluating the quality of Noctilucus Jade is indeed very tricky. As crude ore, there is little difference in texture, lustrousness, and internal pattern between good and bad jade. Only after the item made using Noctilucus Jade has taken shape, Will you be able to see whether it is up to par or not? If you return to those crafty merchants to quibble, they will counter by saying that your crafting bench is to blame, or that your heat mm -hmm. control was poor. Whoa! To think it's that easy to get cheated! Mm. But there is a way to truly evaluate this jade, and a true insider would know it. A fool sees the pointer and misses the moon. What does that mean? If you point at the moon with your finger, uh -huh. a wise man knows that you are pointing at the moon. Yeah. While a fool well, will only see, the, see finger. the finger. The patterns. The facade. These are all the finger. Noctilucus Jade is a mystical stone used to light up the darkness. And so its brightness is the important thing. It is the moon. Noctilucus Jade of excellent quality would have superior pyro affinity. In other words, the bluer and brighter the luster of the ore under hmm. high temperature, the higher its quality. Didn't realize you're such an expert. Is this normal life for a high class gentleman? Let's see this. I have imparted the priceless secrets of the Jade trade to you. Now, all that's left is to put it into practice. Priceless, huh? Paimon's just said that we might never be able to use it again. We're back to buy some rocks, boss. Some rocks. But can you let us burn them first? Uh, burn them? You can't do that, my friends. If you were to do so, what would I have to sell? Uh, then can we get some small samples? Then I'm not buying any. <laughs> that would... Well, fine. As you wish, then. <laughs> How about this? I can take a small sample of all three. I'll take a bit of a loss. We'll count it as a friendly gesture. <laughs> Don't worry. I know the rules. As long as we can prove that it is good jade, you will not take a loss. All right. Take these as samples. I've carved them off with a knife and tagged them to boot. These samples so thin. 
Aren't these too thin? Even paper's thicker. Oh, okay, no, that's even really... the book's wings are thicker. These are almost see-through. This is impressive handiwork. Hmm, <laughs> how stingy. This is impressive handiwork. Stingy? I've already been very generous. Any more, and you may as well have my neck. But wouldn't something this thin go <laughs> poof if we held it to the fire? It can't be helped. Trying to deprive a merchant of his profits would be like forcing a ravenous wolf to vomit up the food in its stomach. Oh, Nonetheless, yeah. under the right conditions, these thin slices will serve. Oh, it's good enough? Okay. What sort of conditions? While we add the high temperatures using pyro, we can use hydro to reinforce it from within. This way, the samples will not disintegrate immediately. Oh! Oh, sir, to think you were this learned. Thank you for your understanding. Strictly speaking, asking for samples when we have not yet agreed to purchase the goods is unfair. Trade in Liyue must be based upon fairness. Well, guess we just need to find a place to try this out. Hmm, how about the kitchen in Xiangling's place? I remember this part in the Dadao Pagorch. What if I say Xiangling's place? I'm just curious. You mean at Wanmin restaurant? Uh, as long as we do it when she's not in. That would not do. It is a place where people come and go. <laughs> Okay. They would be endangered if the elemental reaction were to get out All of right, control. Alright, then Dadao Pagot this. We cannot take such a risk. Oh, Paima remembers. We once saw this big pot down at the Dada Upa Gorge in the camp of the hilly churls from the Meaty tribe. It's real sturdy and should be able to take the elemental reactions. Alright. Now, let's pack those samples <laughs> up and make a move. Well, if I say Dadao Pagot, is the dialogue shorter or...? <laughs> because we're going to the other coach anyway. Look for the Meaty Tribe's giant cooking pot. Meaty Tribe's giant cooking pot. Oh, there! That's the pot! It looks like the hilly trucks right, are still using just... it. It's a bit of a light, but we gotta cut the line! Oh, shit. Approach the giant cooking pot. <laughs> Well, it's our lab now. <laughs> Shame to let it go to waste. This soup looks like it could be used as our hydro elemental protection. Let's fire it up and begin our experiment. All right. We're ready to go. Paimon will help remember which one of the three is which. Use pyro to keep making the pot hotter until we get the results we need. Okay. Got Xiangling for that. Mr. said that the shinier and bluer the ore gets, the better it is, so pay close attention. Shiny and blue. By the way, it's raining now. He's <laughs> pyro to hit the pot. The it's the fire. Oh, there's a there's a there's a bar for that. Huh? Oh, I need more. Nice and spicy. Defeat the. Whoa, oh, shit. That light came from the first Noctilucus Jade. Were they attracted by the light? Such nosy neighbors. Let's take care of them and continue again after. I should have used Ningguang. Ah. Uh, you know what? That makes it faster. Okay. Yeah, that light came from the second out to Lucas J, didn't it? Are you kidding me? Okay. All right, there's the fire done. How? That's bright. Too Ooh. bright. <sighs> that was the third knock to Lucas Jade, wasn't it? Return to Leo Harbor and find Shito. It was so much shinier than the rest. Let's go with that one. Let's head back to the Jade Mystery to buy some jade, shall we? Okay. You're back, my friends. I've kept the goods for you. Which of them would you like? Um, 
The third one is the longer one to burn up. The third one, the third Nauticulus Jade, I guess. Since that is the one that lasts longer. Exactly! That's the one Paimon mm -hmm. remembers too! No problem. If you have your eye on this one, you can have it. Then we'll take a box of the third type of jade. Done! All the same, and uh, pardon me for asking, but I'm curious. Whatever do you need this much top quality Noctilucus Jade for? Hmm. I suppose it would not hurt to tell you. We need them to make implements for the rite of parting. Parting? Oh, dear. Mm -hmm. I'd heard the rumors, but had given much thought to them. This... This means that Rex Lapis really is... Oh, it's hard to believe. Even though the Jade Mystery has been in decline, we have always been under his protection. It is said that when our Lord lost his way while going incognito in the city 200 years ago, it was a spoon from the Jade Mystery that he had used to sample the local delights. Um, incognito in the city 200 years ago? Alas, alas, all things must pass. <sighs> well, if this is to be used to say farewell to Rex Lapis, then I shall sell this to you at half the price. Right. Are you sure? You didn't want to even give us an <laughs> inch before. If not for our Lord's protection, this city wouldn't exist as it does now. No proprietor could earn money off such a thing. Oh, I'm sure Rex Lapis will feel your sentiment, boss. In the safe hands of the Liu Achising, and good honest merchants such as yourself. I for one believe that Liyue will continue to prosper as it always has done. So let's not get ourselves done just yet. Alright. Thank you, my friends. <sighs> What's with me getting all sentimental like this? I'll practically be giving away all my fortune at this rate. Now that we've made our choice, let's take this Noctilucus Jade back. Hey, wait a minute. He said it was half price, not that we could leave without paying. Oh, right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I must have forgotten to do that, too. Let me see. Sorry. As I thought, I didn't bring any. Eh? Any what? Mora. My apologies. Another oversight on really, my part. Really, Zongli? Really? Uh, yeah. What a strange take on the value of money. A local of the year who doesn't have money on their mind. Oh, that won't do. This isn't some small sum. Yeah. We got that back on Mora though. Didn't Child give us some advanced funds earlier? Yeah. <sighs> That's a relief. Have a look. Hmm. It's fine. It's just enough for half price. <laughs> though to be honest, it'd be all right even if the sum wasn't quite enough. Really? <laughs> well, it's settled then. Let's take this jade to Eugene Terrace. That's where we plan to hold the right. Look at you bossing everyone around. You didn't cough up a single Mora. Just remember to bring money next time. Guess we need to find child for more funding. <laughs> I will do my best. You have my thanks. A part of me still thinks that Zongli maybe is this Geo Archon. And the and but the one who's dead, what is that about? So yeah. Put the Nauticulus J in place. Where? Right here. Now what? Okay, that's the Nauticulus J. We can leave the jade here. I have already called for a jewelsmith to shake them into the implements that we will need. All right. Ah, yes. I have yet to go and see the <laughs> child. So, as for the jewelsmith's remuneration. Fingers crossed, child will reimburse us. We'll pay the Jewel Smith when he arrives. Uh, yeah, but not sure if he. <laughs> probably he will. Guess we can't do anything else. Also, is this where we're doing the right of parting? Yes. I have already rented this location and have begun making okay. preparations for the right. Yeah, the right of dissension to was here too. So we're just using the scene of the crime to... That's right. 
The Liu at Qixing have acquiesced to using the same location. Mm. But when something this big happened yeah. here, should suspects like us really be at the crime scene? We might get caught by the Millilith. Although with that said, since we got back from Dwayne Karst, none of those pesky Millilith soldiers have come chasing mm. after us. Yeah, that's true. Though. I wonder what that's about. Also, the... Uh, Rex Lapis Va Rex Vessel. Lapis Traditionally, we call it the Exuvia, yeah. Ah, right! That's what it was called. You seem to know everything, Mr. Zhongli. Hmm. Um, so, was this Exuvia hidden away by the chasing? I mean, we haven't even figured out who the murderer is. Yeah. One must think that they already have someone in mind. Or perhaps they already know. Surely they must have found all the evidence that there is to find here. Mm, it's still bizarre, yeah. These things are for the authorities in Yujing Terrace to consider. Trying to help would probably only add to their troubles. Before the rite is conducted, the Exuvia will be kept temporarily in the Golden House. Golden House? The only mint in Liu, which is to say the only mint into that. Oh, okay. All the mora that flows throughout the world is minted there. Wow! <laughs> I wasn't thinking about anything bad. Paimon thinks it suits Morax. Morax. Ah, yeah, that's the name. Morax. But why do you know this, Mr. Zhongli? Zhongli, are you? Since the rite of parting has the approval of the Chi Thing, it is a semi official event. As such, there is already some limited information available. The Chi Thing provides the location and child the funds. They must have some ulterior motive. Perhaps each has their motives. But this is the capital of commerce. A little exploitation once in a while is not unacceptable. In Liu, where the god of contracts reigns, only contracts may not be betrayed. I for one have no issue with little maneuvers outside their remit. Well then, we should go and prepare the perfumes used in the rite. Perfumes? Where will we get those? Do we buy them? I think... No. Perfumes used to honor the gods must be freshly decocted. The quality of the silk flowers we require is also special. Silk flower petals contain a fibrous material of good quality, often used in brocade making. Its scent, however, is most elegant, and is especially suited for solemn events, like giving offerings to gods and adepti. It's time for Zhang Li's lecture on <laughs> high society again. <laughs> we shall not speak of the details right now. Follow me. We shall go to the merchants to purchase our ingredients. All right. Oh, that's a lot to take in. And next one is three poignant perfume. So we need to buy sit flowers. Okay. I think this is good enough for this video. I didn't expect. Uh, I said I wanted to keep going, so yeah, it up, it reached up to this point. Eh? We met Zhongli, and then we bought some Nocticulous Jade, and now we're here, back to this place again. Uh, Alright, so yeah, I think that'll be it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.